We're investigating the personality types within the valuing pair or the functioning pair that are really emphasizing valuing. These are intuition plus feeling. They tend to approach life and they work in a very warm and enthusiastic manner. They focus on ideas and possibilities and particularly they look to, like to look at possibilities for people. The ENFJ is very warm, empathetic, responsive, and responsible. Because they're responsive, it means they're highly attuned to the emotion, needs, and motivations of other people. And they look at people and always see potential. They are a catalyst for individual and group growth. They are loyal, they praise, and they really are very responsive to criticism. They're sociable and they facilitate others in a group and they're going to provide some very inspiring leadership. An ENFJ is very rare in the population. You're going to see it's only 2.5%. They have some great strengths though. They get things organized. They have ability to develop human resources. They are skilled at building consensus, and this is because they have wonderful people skills. They're also filled with energy and enthusiasm. Within ENFJ careers and goal settings, they have great long-term idealistic goals and very detailed action plans. The action plans are really referring to that judging part of their personality. This creates some obstacles go, though. They may have trouble really utilizing unexpected opportunities because they don't like surprises. They like to have order in their lives. Some tips though would be to establish specific goals to enable some choices and plan some time to really brainstorm about some possibilities, new tasks, even other careers. In information gathering, they like to talk to people and they will get to be excited about that. So they like to eventually really spend more time with people who are enthusiastic. They will accept opportunities for growth and learning. Remember, they are a catalyst for improvement for themselves and others. They have potential obstacles though. They may overlook some important facts about the job. So some tips, search for facts about the career. Remember ONET online? Establish some priorities and prepare a list of the most interesting possibilities within each option. Going to prefer to make contact through an extensive network of professionals. They have an ability to remember details about people. They have great enthusiasm and energy and that really portrays into their ability to be a great team player. They emphasize potential and an ability to learn. Some potential obstacles though is that they spend too much time in an unproductive way of networking and they may talk too much. This also makes them appear as if they are not very task oriented even though they are. So some tips. Make sure that you pause during your interview. Maybe you need to count out between each question. One, two, three. Make sure you emphasize your contributions and make sure that you also look at some possibilities. Show people how your people skills are really going to make an effective way to increase the bottom line of an organization or a company. Decisions, really consider what is most valued by you, even though you really prefer that subjective personal centered approach. This creates a problem because you're going to make some hasty decisions. So make sure that you pause before you make those decisions. You tend to be overly influenced by what other people want, and you want to make sure that you really take a moment to think about what is best for you. This will also may cause some opportunities to be lost because of some logical consequences. So some tips, don't ignore those uncomfortable facts and really consider your consequences systematically. The most popular occupations for an ENFJ are interior designer, organizational psychologist, veterinary assistant, elementary school teacher, public relations, career counselor, and home health aide.